Hey guys, so uh, this coming Wednesday, I think it's Wednesday, that's a Wednesday, right? Or is it Thursday? I've completely lost track of time. Wednesday. This Wednesday at around 9 o'clock, I will be getting into the van and leaving for New Orleans with my two children, my husband, my friend that we're going to be staying with, and her two children. So uh, she's actually the one that did all of these lovely tattoos on me. Um, I've known her for ever since I moved back down here. But uh, we are going to New Orleans. She is going on vacation with her children. We are also going on vacation, it seems, as well as going to ALA. But um, this video is actually about a few updates that have come to the site. If you haven't been on it today or since last night, um, things have been updated on it. The, the top bar for the menu has been updated as well as the banner and the rating system. Um, actually, a author posted to Facebook uh, yesterday about they didn't want to read or they didn't want to be tagged in reviews that are rated three and below. And I'm like, well, I tag authors in posts for reviews if it's three and above. Because what I was doing for my three-star rating was actually more geared toward a four-star rating. So I kind of wanted to look at what the star ratings via Amazon and stuff, what they actually mean. So somebody actually had actually posted a article on there, um, which actually explained it a lot better. Um, there was a kind of few things in there that I really didn't agree with. Um, you know, just because you want to help the author out, you rate it higher than what you actually feel that it should be. That's not right. But um, I did want to make our rating system more friendlier versus what is on Amazon and Goodreads and all the other places for like where people buy books so that they kind of matched up more. And what I came out with was um, a little bit better than what we were using. Um, so I'll tell you guys what those are because I can't get off of the video apparently. <laughs> you can actually get a full rundown of what they are off of our policy list. So if you go to information and go to policies, it's actually listed there but I will read them off to you now. All right, so a five-star review. If it is a five-star review, that means that it was an amazing book, it was an amazing read, everything was pretty much almost completely perfect, like the book could not have gotten any better. Um, it's a book that I couldn't get it out of my head. You know, like things like five-star ratings for me, I think was like the the Continent from Kira Drake, we've got The Black Witch by Lori Forrest, you've got the uh, the first two books in the uh, Queen of the Blood series, which is the Queen of Renthia, uh, the Queens of Renthia um, via Sarah Beth Durst, I'm probably butchering her name, my brain is dead. Um, of course, you know, City of Bones, the Clockwork series, all of those, they're amazing. I'm constantly talking about them. I can't get them out of my head. You've got, you know, the the School for Unusual Girls from Kathleen Baldwin. You know, all of the books that I'm constantly telling you guys to read, Killer Instinct and Killer Within from S.C. E. Green. You know, it's the ones that I'm always talking to you guys like, oh my God, this reminds me of this. You guys should read this instead. You know, it's the things that you're always thinking about, regardless if you're thinking about it or not, it is always in your head. The first books that you go to recommend to somebody else to read. That is now our five star review. All right, so for four stars, four stars is an enjoyable read. And what that means is that the book was really good, but there might have been one or two things that just didn't mesh well. Maybe it ended on a cliffhanger that we think maybe shouldn't have been there. Um, maybe. Uh, maybe a couple of the characters didn't work out, maybe there was a subplot that was never answered and it's a standalone, but it's just, it was a, a really good book, it's still worth the read, but there's just something that didn't work. Um, a great example of this one would be Dear Killer. The entire book was beyond amazing, but then the ending felt like the author just kind of gave up and didn't know where to take it. Um, because that was a standalone, it wasn't a series, they couldn't have really ended it on a cliffhanger, but the ending that we got really wasn't satisfactory. Uh, the next one is now our three-star rating, and it is an acceptable read. And I know I kind of, um, oh, that didn't, that's weird. <laughs> I'm looking at my ratings here. They all have titles except for five stars. Well, 
I will have to fix that. But um, I think Five Stars said exceptional, that it was an exceptional read. Um, all right, so Three Stars in, is an acceptable read. And what this means is that the book was kind of meh. It was meh. Uh, it's got some pretty large issues where I didn't mesh with the characters. I didn't mesh with the plot. Something was going on. It was confusing. Something, there was a lot of stuff in it that just didn't work out. Um, we'll always try and make sure that you guys know in our reviews on what that issue is. Um, if we can, if it's a major spoiler, of course we can't. Um, I am thinking about putting spoilers into our reviews now because sometimes you just can't get out of it. But it would be in a thing that stated spoiler and then you would have to highlight that section to actually reveal the spoiler. If that is something that you want us to do, please let me know in the comments below. Um, let's see. Uh, it also states for our three-star review is that um, these issues, it's not enough to ruin the total story plot or book, but it's enough to make it that it would really need fixed for us to continue it if it was a series. All right, so, um, or to read the book again. Uh, the next one is our two-star re reviews. These are unpleasant reads. These are ones where there are major, major issues for it. These are the ones that these issues. They ruin the plot. They ruin the story completely. Uh, the characters aren't done well. Uh, let's see. Um, there, there's just, there's something wasn't right with it. We'll let you guys know, of course, in the review what that was, but it just, it didn't work out. We almost DNF'd it and we're just, we're just kind of done with it. And I just don't want to see the book anymore. And last but not least is a one-star review. These are the failed reads. One-star reviews now are ones where we tried to read it, it didn't happen, we DNF'd it, we don't want to talk about it, we hate this book, we just, we didn't like it at all, it was horrible, just no, just no, no, I can't read this, I just, I can't, I cannot force myself into reading this title and that is our one star reviews. So I hope those make it so it's a little bit easier to know our readings um, with what I've seen online and the article that I read these match up to what they mean on Goodreads, Amazon, Barnes and Nobles and all the other different sales sites. So, oh goodness. From now on this will be our reviews. There are still a few posts that have not been updated to this new thing, which I'm sorry. Um, we have a lot of stuff scheduled already. Uh, so it's uh, it would be way, way too much work to try and go back and fix every single review that we've ever done. So uh, the way to know if it has been updated, I have new little banner icon things that I created last night, which will have the star rating and what it is called on it so you guys will be able to see those and that will be right above the review so uh, I hope you guys like all the updates to the site um, as for other things that are going on I will be doing another mail haul probably probably Wednesday afternoon right before we leave well not right before we leave but a few hours before we leave I've got a few books here right now um, but I'll wait until then to do that uh, I will show you guys one book that showed up because it's like, eh. so pretty. I cannot wait to read this. This comes out in September, so, and you guys can't have that one. It's signed to me. It's got my name written in it, so you can't, you can't have that one. Um, she is going to be at ALA. Uh, if they have other copies of it, I will attempt to get one to use in a giveaway for the review because I know you guys like that and I like sharing. So you just can't have that one. All right, so um, that's pretty much everything. But uh, when I go to leave, I will be posting updates to our journey to New Orleans with pictures and videos and all that stuff. I hope you guys enjoy those. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, more than likely, I'll be posting either early or late. I'm going to attempt to get as many pictures, pictures as I possibly can. I'm very, very bad at trying to just get through the convention centers and stuff really quickly and not worrying about pictures. And I really want to get pictures with the authors this time because I really like having those. Um, you just, you don't realize how much 
you enjoy having pictures with your favorite authors until after it's done and then, oh, well, you know, yeah, I saw that person and I saw that person, but I didn't get any pictures. So my oldest daughter, of course, Endy will be there. So I have geared her with the, uh, the chore. Ooh, that didn't sound good. With the chore of taking pictures. So, oh yeah. And it sounds get like it sounds really, really bad out there. It, we're supposed to be getting scattered showers and stuff for the lot next like four days. So that sounds really bad. All right. Well, if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And I'm out of here. Uh, there will be a new book haul next week on Wednesday. And I asked, actually have a six, almost seven pound box coming from. A, a publishing company that I've never heard of before. I think it was like American West Books or something like that. It's really weird. I have no idea who they are. But I guess we'll see what it is. Alright, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Bye! If you're in Florida, stay dry.